Hi, I am Bianca and I'm a bomb engineer. I am part of the R&D and engineering department of a company. In this video, I'll be showing you an example of how I use this new app called Manage Multi-Level Bill of Material in my daily work as a bomb engineer. These features will be available from the S4HANA 2105 release that is coming out in May of 2021. I will be using a hydraulic motor as an example to walk you through the features that this app has to offer. The first feature I would like to present to you is the possibility to view many attributes of your entire bomb or bill of material in a single screen. When I enter the app, I can search for a bill of material I would like to work with using different search filters that are available. In the material filter, I type in hydraulic motor and I'm also able to choose a plant where this is being produced in. After I hit go, I find bill of materials or bombs for short. To show you how it looks like in more detail, I select one. What I see on the top is that the hydraulic motor is the root bomb and below it contains header information that describes this root bomb. I can see a single level bomb of this hydraulic motor right now. But what is new is that I'm able to expand nodes to view the sub-assemblies where there are sub-assemblies available, like the hydraulic pump, and view the entire bomb at a glance and not have to navigate to different applications to view this. At the same time, I'm able to view a different alternative bomb and its change number that is associated to it. To do this, I select on the part that I would like to view the change history and click on Timeline. A side panel pops up now where I'm able to view a timeline of the change history, including the status, date, and the change number. I can also select the calendar and pick a particular date to see how the bomb looked like on that day. I can also view different alternative bombs for a sub-assembly like the accumulator within the hydraulic motor. Here I can see that there are three different alternative bombs for this particular sub-assembly. I select the second one and the list refreshes with the corresponding data. If I click on the settings icon, I can customize the settings to my own needs. For example, in the columns tab, I can select as many columns as I wish to view in the table. This is important as I know some of my colleagues find other information important which I don't and vice versa. So the option to filter gives us great power to customize our bomb layout that fits to our own needs for our daily work. Another great feature which I love is to save different layout views as a template and even set it as a default view. I work many different products as a bomb engineer and each product I may need to view the data slightly differently. Therefore, I'm able to save a specific layout view, which saves me time to find what I need on the fly. The search feature allows me to swiftly search based on a component name or a description. I can search for shaft. It will highlight the blue bar wherever the name shaft appears in the list. Another powerful feature that allows me to do my work much more efficiently is the ability to go into an edit mode. This means that I no longer have to navigate to different pages to do small edits of my bomb. I can now do it all in one screen. I select the edit dropdown. I can see that I can edit or edit with a change number. For this example, I click on edit and I will change the component quantity of the fan. I also add a single component to the subassembly and type in the material number of the damper. I am also able to delete a line or multiple lines in my bomb by selecting them and hitting delete. I save my changes. The final feature I want to share with you is creating a bomb alternative, even if it's in a draft mode. By creating an alternative, the app copies the last alternative into a new alternative, where I'm able to then view and edit the new alternative bomb. Thank you all for your attention, and I really hope you enjoyed this short demo on our Manage Multi-Level Bill of Material application at SAP.